Man accused of sparking a deadly shootout at a Silver Lake Trader Joe's told an LA judge today he was set here by Jesus. Talking about Gene Atkins, he said, during, said that during his hearing today. He doesn't know what's going on, he said. He said he's a prophet. Told the judge several times, God bless you, sir. The prosecutor says Atkins was putting on some sort of an act just to delay the trial. He faces more than 50 counts, including murder for the death of the store manager and for holding customers hostage at gunpoint. Tomorrow on CBS2, survivors of the Trader Joe's standoff tell their stories in a special 48 hours. Here's a preview. It was mid-afternoon when we got to the Trader Joe's. And then we heard gunfire. Boom, 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 boom. Somebody yelled, the gunman is in the store. And then I hear the assailant, I'm going to shoot somebody in five, four, three, two. Well, our colleague, <laughs> <laughs> you, you did great. <laughs> this is Lynn Westifer, and yes, she works with us. She joins us now. You know, all of us, Lynn, watched the standoff, and it was so scary at the time. And then when we learned you had been in there. I remember you coming out and, and, and then doing this incredible live interview on our air that day. What has it been like for you to relive all of that again? Um, honestly, it's, it's hard. Yeah. It's really hard. You were gone for a while. I was off for two, two months, 10 weeks. 10 weeks I was off. And initially I thought... Um, you know, I'll take a couple days off and I'll, I'll come right back. And then the, you know, when I did that live interview, I was definitely in shock, you know, and it's hard for me to listen to it now because I can just hear the adrenaline. But doing the 48 hours interview was very cathartic in some ways because I, I believe it will help people. I believe that, that this is going to keep happening and that I heard the voice of someone who had told me about an experience when he ran. And when I was on the floor of the Trader Joe's, I remembered that. And I thought, oh, I'm not going to die here today. I'm going to run. I'm going to be like that guy, and I'm not going to sit here, and I'm not going to take it. And I don't know that I would have thought that if I hadn't remembered somebody mm. else doing that before. So I thought, all right, I'll, I'll do 48 hours, and maybe it'll help somebody in that way. But it's not easy. No, of course it's not. not. It's not easy. So it's been six months. Yeah. And what has it been like for you since then? It has been... Um, very interesting. So <laughs> I've worked in this business a long time, and so I know a little bit about a lot of things. And what I, my big takeaway is that we collectively know next to nothing about trauma. We cover, I mean, we have a, a culture that ha seems to have an endless tolerance for violence, and yet we know next to nothing about what that does to people. And I have learned from the inside out that it's physical, Mm -hmm. It's emotional and it's spiritual. Everything gets blasted. Oh, for me, my experience, everyone's different, but in my experience, it was a, mm -hmm. uh, I got wrecked by this. And um, I didn't see anybody die. I, there are way scarier situations that people can be in. But I just hope, and another reason why I was willing to talk about it is we have to start talking about trauma. We have to start you know, acknowledging what our culture does to people. And it has long-term impacts. It can last for years. Yesterday was the anniversary of the Parkland shooting. Today there was another mass shooting. This is not mm. going anywhere. And every time these things happen now, I think about, oh my God, 100 more people just got traumatized. And I hope that they'll get the help that they need because time, time does not heal sure. all wounds. Time helps you acclimate. Mm. Time helps you adjust, but but it's if not you, a healer. No, if you don't if do you anything about no, it. No, if you want to heal, you have to take other other actions. You got to get help, and it's not easy. It's very humbling, and this has been incredibly humbling. <laughs> and I feel very fortunate to have such amazing colleagues who have been very patient with me. I feel like it's been it's been a roller coaster. So. Oh, you're so brave, no. and we're so proud of you. <laughs> yes, you Thank are. You, you're but... so talented and all of that. So. <laughs> we're on that journey with you, Lynn. Thank you, Pat. All right, dear. Okay. Thank you, Lynn, mm -hmm. for being with us. And Thanks. you can see Lynn's story and those of the other Trader Joe's hostages on 48 Hours Live to Tell. That's this Saturday right here on CBS2 at 10 o'clock.